hello hello my youtube family this is an update of when i had my surgery overall i could say the day of my surgery i was kind of like nervous and let me had to i couldn't eat nothing after 12 that thursday night so it lead me to having hot burns real bad and i was like already like gagging because i'm having hot hot burnings so i went in for my surgery i um told the nurses that i was having hot burns real bad last night so before the surgery they actually gave me something to take then um after that it was like a different types of doctors coming in there let me know what they gonna do it was a nurse it was like two doctors came in there and then my actually doctor that was gonna do the surgery so one of the doctors that was looking at my blood work and stuff like that he he told me that i was mal um anemic so i don't know what they come from so i kind of felt like i was because i kind of pick, picked up a um a habit since i found out i had the thyroids like so i knew it was possible that i'd probably be anemic so the other doctor came in was telling me what he was gonna do they how they was gonna put me to sleep two was gonna go down my throat so when I, everything after my doctor came in telling me what i was gonna be doing how the procedure gonna be going again since she already had told me um this when they came, the nurse came in and the doctor came in to put me to sleep. That was the last thing I knew. I, I actually remember. So after that, when I came back, I knew I just told the nurse I had to use the restroom. So they walked me to the restroom. I was cold because I guess it was cold in the surgery room or whatever. It was the outpatient surgery. So I went to the restroom and all that. So by the time my ride came, it was time for me to go. I went home. I was still like counting like high off the medicine that they had um, put me on when they put me to sleep. So I slept all day, but I had problems. I had, I was nauseated a lot. I was like, felt like I was choking because I had the tooth down my throat. I didn't know they actually put a tooth down my throat until I actually tried to eat because I really didn't eat none. So I was trying to go eat some nuggets from chick-fil-a <laughs> and when i was swallowing my throat would hurt real bad and i was like okay they they put a tube down my throat i forgot about that so i just got home laid down and uh my god sister brought me a prickle to help with the uh, gagging and uh me um uh, feeling nauseated a lot so that kind of helped out because i drank some of the juice and ate the prickle or whatever so that helped out a whole whole lot so from that whole day i was sleeping off and on because i was still doped up off the medicine so the pain level i could say i really didn't feel no different i guess because i started the doctor told me to make sure i take the medicine before the pain actually came through instead of waiting till the medicine rolled off for me or whatever like that so i say it was okay. Um, then when, like, a couple of days after, I think, after the surgery, it was almost time for my cycle to come on. And it was still kind of heavy a little bit because I was, I was kind of like, um, I think I was still kind of passing some of the stuff that she uh, straight thought burnt off was still inside or whatever that she probably couldn't get all of it out so at the time i was on i ended up passing through like some it was i don't it didn't look like blood clot it was just real real big and it was unnoticeable i didn't feel no pain no nothing like that so i'm guessing that's supposed to be came out to pass through so after the surgery um I know it's too much information with TMI, but I'm just letting y'all know how it go. 
But after that, after my cycle went off or whatever, I had to make an appointment. So my appointment was been in two weeks. But by my doctor being on vacation, I had to do it this week, so which is today. And she said everything was looking good, so she did another blood work so she could look at my blood count to see why I was craving it. But I, overall, it was okay. But it's got some pros and cons to it. I just not gonna see it all on the camera. It got it have some pros and cons, but one of them is I could just tell y'all this one, but I'm not gonna tell y'all the other one. It's really, it's really um, it probably be different for different body types or whatever. But everybody body is different after surgery or anything else. So after. Well, I, when I went today, my doctor was like, um, you know, I didn't get all of it out, so we're going to keep a lookout on it, and it might come back. Okay. That's the only problem. Like, if you gonna, if you find out that you have thyroid, it just, it's probably just best to go ahead and do the whole procedure, not just do the outpatient one, because it's a possibility they come back and then you gotta go through the whole situation whole thing again but it's not the outpatient part this one right here will be a full surgery so she was just saying basically that if it come back they gonna keep an eye on it and if it come back we just gonna go ahead and move forward and have the whole thing the whole surgery done like it won't be no outpatient surgery i'll be off work for a minute but other than that when my cycle did come on, I didn't cramp as bad. Cause usually when the claws come pass through, I used to cramp so bad that it was, I had to take a lot of pills to like the bread of pain. But other than that, it went well. Everybody body is different. So it have pros and cons to it. I just tell y'all every pro, um, cons to it that what went on, whatever. Nothing bad or whatever, but I'm not just going to tell y'all everything. But I just told y'all the most important thing that I went through and what I feel like. But hopefully, they said when I come on again, I shouldn't be as heavy. But we'll see. <laughs> because that's one reason why I went on and got the, the surgery done. So, because I was in pain all the time and it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't bury it no more. I couldn't do it. I couldn't just act like I was normal, but I wasn't normal. So, that's about it, you guys. I was just coming on to update y'all on how the surgery went and the after effects or whatever. Or how it went afterwards. And how did I feel about it? How did it go? And stuff like that. So, that's about it on my end. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. But, that's about it. So, yes, you guys. I finally got a chance to sit down and let y'all know I was going to wait. I was going to actually do the video early. But, I was like, let me wait and do the video when I make do my appointment. So, I can let y'all know like what actually went on. So, if you have thyroids, it's best to go ahead and get at least one of them removed. Or you could just go ahead and do the whole thing instead of being in pain so much and dealing with it because it's a lot of stuff that y'all probably don't know about why you probably need to go ahead and get it removed or whatnot. So, yes. So, that's about it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all take heed of this information that I gave y'all. And with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified for every single video that I post. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.